and now we're heading to our lab, where we're going to put our bodies to the test to show you how your body works. Ah, that really hurts. Just don't try anything you see here at home. Ow! Did that hurt? Yes, get off. OK, what about this? No, but get off, I don't like it. We all experience pain. You've got over three million pain receptors throughout your body. But some areas like this ah! have more receptors than other areas, like this. Now, I know I shouldn't be pinching these on, but it was all to explain pain receptors. Pain receptors are specialised nerve endings. They act as messengers, so when they detect something painful, they tell your brain you're hurt. Pain can be really useful sometimes because it stops you accidentally damaging your body. But why is it we feel pain differently in different situations? Sometimes you can stub your toe and be in terrible agony. Other times you cut yourself really badly playing football and you don't notice till the end of the match. And that's because pain is in your brain. And this means that you can reduce the amount of pain you experience. And we're going to show you how. But before I show you this clever trick, I'm going to inflict a little bit of pain on Zand so that we can see how a person reacts normally. Oh, good. This is a heat stimulation thermode. It's a pain machine. I'm going to put it on the back of Zahn's hand and turn up the temperature until he can't stand it anymore. And I'm going to do the same to him, and we'll see who can take more pain. It's a little bit dramatic, isn't it? This medical device is used by scientists to test people's sensitivity. The end of the rod will get increasingly hot the more I turn this dial up. It won't burn, but let's see how much heat Zahn can take by letting his body send pain signals to his brain just like normal. You ready, Zond? Yep. Ah! No, it's not on yet. Put your hand back. All right. So that's the temperature on of the probe. I'm going to start turning it up. Remember, we can only do this because we're doctors. Yeah, it gets warm. Yeah, it's warm now. Let's turn it up a bit more. I, I can definitely feel that there's a hot thing. Ah, yeah, yeah, OK. And a bit more again. Ah, oh, ah, oh. ah, so that, that's really burning now. Yeah, yeah, ow, 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 ow. Ah, yeah, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, okay. that's enough. Zand has managed to stand the pain up to a temperature of 45.2 degrees. It was definitely painful. It wasn't just you kind of wimping out. No, it was painful. It was getting more painful. And there was definitely a moment where it just suddenly was just like, oh, oh no, 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 I want to take my hand away now. That's too painful. OK, my go now. Now I'm going to try the same thing on Chris. Only I've got a trick up my sleeve. I'm going to distract my brain. And that means I should be able to take more pain than Zand. So let's see how long Chris can last. Chris, this is going to hurt you a lot more than it's going to hurt me. We'll see about that. I'm going to use a different technique, Zan. I'm going to distract myself and I'm going to really pretend that this doesn't hurt. And I reckon I can take more pain. I'm on a beach. I'm on a really sunny beach. I'm feeling really good. You're not on a beach, Chris. You're in a lab with a red hot probe sticking into your hand. It's not red hot. It's barely hot. Is it on? <laughs> How's that beach feeling now? The beach is quite hot now. Okay, okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> so let me tell you how you did. 48.2 degrees. So that beats you by three degrees. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So there's absolutely no way I could have gone another three degrees. Yeah, it really does work. So next time you've got to go to the doctors and have an injection, try it and see how you get on. Yes, it's a clever trick. If you think of something relaxing, you'll find it easier to cope with pain. Don't feel a thing. <laughs>